Hello class. Today we're going to continue with our focus on texture and pattern by drawing this winter bear. He can be a Christmas bear or a winter bear. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is a black crayon, which I'm keeping the black crayons in this green container. And you're also going to need a tray of crayons. All right, so we're using a half sheet of paper instead of a full sheet of paper because there's going to be a lot of details in this bear. And if we use a huge sheet of paper, it is going to take us a very long time to complete this bear. And I wanted him to be something quick. Also, if he's a half sheet of paper, it would be so easy to turn this bear into a Christmas card on a half a sheet of paper or a sheet of paper folded in half. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with this neckline, which is just a slight curve. It's not really a smile shape. It's a um, slighter curve than a smile. And it's right about the middle of the page. It's right about the center. So we're gonna find the center of our page. You put your finger on the center. <coughs> And we're going to draw, um, and to help me get that line in the right place, I'm gonna put two little dots here and here so that I can easily draw that slightly curved line that is the bear's neck. The next thing I'm gonna do, I know my ears are gonna be in the corner, so the easiest thing for me to do is put those, they're like a C, it's almost like a circle but you didn't finish. It kinda looks like the letter C. I know we talked about that when we did the pattern pumpkins um, after the artist Yayoi Kusama. Um, so we're gonna make this C um, for the ears. And then that makes it really easy. You've got the line in the middle for the neck. Make sure to go close to the sides, but don't touch. You don't wanna make it too small because then it starts to look less like a bear and more like a different animal. Um, so once you've got that line in the middle, the ears in the corner, then it's so easy to just connect the top, um, do the top of his head by connecting the ears and then curving down to the neck. It kind of looks like a little gumdrop with Mickey Mouse ears right now to me. Um, and then you're simply, these shoulders, they just go straight off the page. And you can see he looks so cute and he's not perfect, is he? He's got one shoulder that drops off the page on that side and one that drops off a little sooner. So you don't have to worry <coughs> about being even. So we're just gonna go down real quick, down real quick. Oops, I didn't quite go off the page. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is add in his eyeballs. So we're gonna give him two black dots, coloring in circles for his eyes. Now the area for his nose, um, it looks kind of like either an avocado or a pear shape. So to help me, I am gonna draw this so lightly, you're probably not even gonna see it on this video. I'm gonna draw the lightest that I can to get that pear shape for his nose because that way when I start to outline the little fur, the, what I call the dashes, it'll be so much quicker for me because I know exactly what I'm outlining. Um, I'm also gonna do the same thing. You can see the little circles in the ears. I'm gonna do the same thing just very lightly you may or may not be able to see those, but I put little circles in the ears. All right, now we're gonna work on the fur. That's my favorite part. The first thing we're gonna do is one outline of, and we talked about when I showed you the pattern pumpkins, how mass sentences and English sentences have a lot to do with art. Like these dashes look like um, either hyphens that you see in language 
or they look like ones, like in math, or minuses, or even equal signs. So we're gonna call them dashes, and we're gonna make a row of dashes around his nose. And it's gonna be really quick. You don't have to do this one, two. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, really quick. Just make fuzzy dashes all around that very light outline that you drew. Really quick. And now we've got his nose outlined. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a row around the eyes and the ear. So it's just like when you make a sunshine. You're not really touching the eye. You're going around it the way when you draw a yellow sun, you usually put these little sunshine rays around it. That's exactly what you're doing around his eyes and around his ears. Really quickly, just outline. Um, I'm gonna draw this circle a little darker just so you can see it in the video. Quickly, and it makes it so quick when you have that light circle there so that you can see where you're outlining. All right, so we've got one outline around the eyes, one outline around both ears, and one outline around his snoot. Um, about in the middle of his snoot, I'm gonna put a dark triangle, and I'm sure you know what I'm putting there. His nose. And then I'm gonna draw a line down, and then off to the left, and off to the right. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more fur in. Let's give him some more, and one more row of dashes around each eye. Just really quickly, a circular row of dashes around each eye. Same thing around the ear. We're gonna just do one more circular row around the ear. And that kind of fills in the ear. There we go. Now, we're gonna make a couple more rows around his mouth. So we'll do the top. One, I can squeeze like maybe three or four in there. And then we're gonna do the sides. We're gonna do one more row around the mouth. And we don't wanna forget going across the top. And now this time, we're gonna make a rainbow row of the little dashes twice. So you can see, hopefully you can kind of see the little lines I put in here. You don't have to put those lines in. I just want you to see how I'm basically going like a rainbow line around the rest of his face now that I've done his eyes and his snoot and I'm doing it twice to fill in all the space. And his face is done. Now comes the fun decorating part. We're gonna draw a line here for the collar of his sweater and two lines underneath. And we're just gonna design his sweater. Like I like to make these vertical lines going across the top of the collar. And then if I want, I can color them alternating red and green, red and green, or red and white, red and white. Um, one of my favorite designs to do is triangles because they look like Christmas trees. And then you just put two lines under each triangle and it looks like a Christmas tree. Another favorite thing I like to do, and you saw me do this with the Powdered Pumpkins, a plus sign and a, an X over the plus sign. A plus sign and then an X through the plus sign. And we can even separate those with lines and color like one's green, one's red, um, another easy pattern that I like to do is just dots, and you can alternate the color of the dots. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, you can design whatever pattern you want for the sweater of your bear. Um, once you have your bear drawn in, you can color him. 
Remember that when you are putting things away, make sure the black crayons go in the green plastic container. Um, there are little crayon sharpeners if you feel like you need a little bit more point on your crayon. You can use this over the garbage can or over this little container. You can see sometimes these crayons get a little dull and you can sharpen them really quickly. Make sure that the sharpeners stay up at my desk and make sure that the black crayons go in the green plastic um, holders. Um, all the rest of the colored crayons will go in this tray and those will go up on the student desk by my um, teacher art cart. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have fun.